Hey everybody, welcome to Muscle Tech Muscle Talk. Today's episode, we have a very special guest. He's the man behind a lot of these great Muscle Tech products you use and enjoy all the time. His name is Raza Bashir. He is the Vice President of Scientific Affairs and Product Innovation for Ivate Health Sciences International, the parent company of Muscle Tech. And it looks like, Raza, you're joining us from, from headquarters up there in Canada, yeah? That's right. Uh, thanks for having me, Ron. Yep, here in the headquarters in our lab, you know, where the magic happens. You know, we get all the raw materials, test our formulations uh, before we get them out to market. Yeah. So uh, we're going to talk about the new product, Peptide 185, today. But first, I want to little, establish a little bit of your background for the viewers who may not be familiar with you. Because how does somebody get to be they're, they're developing all these amazing products for the biggest supplement company in the world? Yeah, well, probably starts with a lot of luck, um, but of course, having you know a really strong passion for the industry, scientific aptitude. Um, I, I specifically studied uh, human health and nutritional sciences, so got a really deep understanding of the actives within nutraceuticals, dietary supplements, and foods, and how they could optimize health and performance. So that's literally what I specialized in uh, in my undergrad and in grad school. Um, and then, uh, like I said, a little bit of luck got fortunate. Uh, got into Iovate uh, Muscle Tech and been here for more than 16 years. Wow. Uh, I, yeah, a long time. I got in. You know, I wanted to make an impact uh, on the industry in this world, you know, making better products. And I got the opportunity to do that in, in the part that I love, right, which is, you know, the product, the formula and all that oversight. And now I've you know, hired amazing people, got great teams. It's not just me. There's a whole lot of us making this happen. 16 years. Wow. Because you look about, you know, 20, 21 years old. So that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have access to a lot of unique ingredients. Let's say that. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're aging very, very well, I must say. I appreciate it. So let's get into it, man. Uh, uh, earlier this week, we're doing this on a Saturday afternoon. I got the same thing you have in the back. This is, this thing is hardcore. This is a, uh, oh yeah. You could use this. You could store all kinds of things in here. Weapons, a pharmaceutical, whatever you want. It's, I think it's like nuclear bomb proof. I've, it certainly looks like it's waterproof, but uh, man, so this was the box, the promo kit that it came in. The straps are gone. I already used those for back today. It came with these amazing high quality yep. lifting straps. And of course, this is the main thing in there. Was, That's see it. That? This is it. Peptide 185. And I'm going to try to read the chemical name and wish me luck. Please wish me luck. It's 2000 milligrams per serving of DL185 diliacine, which is l hyphen Lucil hyphen L hyphen leucine monohydrate. And this looks like a prescription, like you'd take to uh, Walgreens or Costco and get your prescription filled. Um, what was the what was the background of this? Because you got you guys leucine has been uh, on the supplement market for many years now. And I remember Muscle Tech had a very successful product years ago called uh, I can't pronounce it. Lukic. It was L E U K I C, right, which I believe was a high. Was that a high dose of leucine? Yeah, exactly. It was a high dose of leucine with uh, keto isopropyl acid kick in there okay. as well. Okay. So how does this product differ? Because a lot of people are going to see the leucine in it and say, "Well, I'll just take more leucine." Wouldn't that wouldn't that give me the same effect? How did what was the genesis of of this product becoming a getting to market like this. Yeah. So great, great. Uh, you know, thank you for, you know, giving that sort of background and you nailed it, by the way, you nailed it on uh, the introduction of the ingredient okay. <laughs> and the sum of facts. Uh, yeah. So, you know, this is, you know, I will start with is this is a completely new peptide that wasn't available. So it's, you know, it's two leucine molecules um, bonded together. Um, and uh, what makes it special is dipeptide. So with, with respect to peptides, um, there are some limitations to free-form amino acids because when you take a whole bunch of uh, free-form amino acids or large doses of them in particular, close to one another, they are competing for the same receptor. Mm. Whereas peptides, within the gut, you have specific receptors. And what the research is showing is that dilucine, in particular, is absorbed intact by the PEP1 receptor. Um, so, you, you know, you get that um, absorbed intact very fast, it's very efficient, the absorption. Um, so in comparison to leucine, what we're seeing is the research is showing, you know, greater protein synthesis um, overall. And, and I'll dig a little bit more into that, but, you know, ultimately what makes it different, even from leucic, um, you know, taking BCAs or taking high dose leucine, it's ultimately the pharmacokinetics. Mm. I mean, there is a huge difference. We're talking about when you have a specific receptor, when you're getting greater uptake, that greater uptake 
leads to greater anabolism and anabolic signaling. Um, that can't be recreated from just taking higher doses of leucine because it's a completely separate transporter and just not going to peak as quickly or as high in the blood. And that's kind of the, the beauty of this and what makes it so special and you know why we wanted to get it out to market. Okay. And but just for the, because I looked on the website, it's not live yet. You can't purchase this yet. I'm re We're recording this, you know, to be transparent on January 27th. Do you know when this is going to be available? Well, we're, we're getting more shipments in um, any day. Any day we're going to have have more available. So what I'd say is get on that site, uh, check it out, and just press the notify me if it's if it's not available. But we're getting more. Okay. So yeah, I, I saw the reference to clinical trials and research. So that's what I'm curious. I'm sure a lot of people are curious about what were what study or studies were done and what what effects were seen from taking this product, the peptide 185? Yeah, so there's just been a few human clinical studies now. The first one and the one that was really compelling uh, in terms of understanding, you know, the mechanism and how it worked was the study that assessed multi, um, muscle protein synthesis. So it was looking at muscle protein synthesis over three hours. They took specific, they were taking uh, two grams, the dose that's found in our product. They compared it to a uh, two gram dose of leucine. And, you know, that dose was selected for a few things. It kind of falls within sort of the leucine sort of threshold dose, but also what's kind of found in sort of a high quality dose of meat. You know, whenever we talk about, you know, about three ounces of, of meat, um, typically when we're talking about the quality of protein, you think about leucine, right? In terms of the, you know, the most important anabolic stimulus. So that's kind of why the dose was selected. They put it head to head uh, and then they took my muscle biopsies. There were phenylalanine tracers that were used, pretty common. Uh, we're talking about the gold standard in terms of looking at within the muscle. And what they found was 159% greater muscle protein synthesis activation um, from baseline. So really impressive. Um, and then greater than 60% um, for leucine. So again, showing statistically significant differences and, and pretty high and impressive results. So we were super excited when we saw that. And this has been years in the making. Whenever you have something breakthrough, you know, you have to go through all the safety data. Then you have to go through the human efficacy data. Um, and then, of course, there's the manufacturing and all the testing to ensure, you know, it hits spec. Uh, but the next key thing, though, is like, OK, well, now we understand the mechanism. We know the importance of this mechanism, right? So we're talking about activating mTOR C1. Downstream effect of that is muscle protein synthesis, which over time, right, leads to, to, leads to muscle growth. So what happens when you give it to you know test subjects when they're training? Yeah. So there was a 10-week study done. This one was done in uh, Dr. Chad Kursik's lab at the um, Lindenwood University, and they took a, they took again a look at the same dose, and what they found was that after 10 weeks, they were seeing significant increases in muscle strength as well as muscle endurance. Like uh, the subjects were really hammering out more reps, and we're talking about you know, um, the in the bench press exercise, we're talking about in leg press, um, some good assessments for strength. It was a really good protocol, you know, they're looking at some of the modern techniques of training. So they were doing a, an upper body, lower split, um, making sure they were hitting everything uh, twice a week. And saw significant, I think it was, you know, depending on the exercise, but we're talking about two to three X strength increases wow. over that time. So really, really impressive. Um, depending on the exercise, I think it was up as high as 88 more pounds. So it's pretty significant. And, you know, when you've been training for a long time, just that 1%, right? It's that oh, 1%, <laughs> you know, improvement that we can get consistently and consistent. Um, so, you know, when we saw that we're like, you know, this isn't, this is incredible. And of course there's going to be more data and, and more studies, but you know, we've already got uh, a few human clinical studies out there that, uh, it's shown really, really remarkable benefits. Okay. Has, has anything looked at? actual increase in lean muscle tissue gain? So we, we, yeah, we haven't been able to see that just yet. That's kind of like the next step now. So okay. it's, it's, uh, I think there's a few things. Is there, you know, is this the sweet spot in, in, in the dosing, in the design and things like that? So that's the logical next step that we're hoping to see. Um, and, and I really believe you, we are going to see it just again, just seeing this mechanism, seeing it's the peptide pathway for it. Um, and then, you know, N of one doesn't always mean something, but also, and sometimes it tells you something. And, you know, I've been taking it, of course, experimenting it. A lot of people that are either involved or even in this building have been taking it and getting phenomenal results. So we're seeing people sort of get some of the best shape that they've been in 
I, I think the remarkable benefits that I've even personally been seeing, you know, I've, I've got young kids been working to get back in shape, you know, there's a couple of years where I just, you know, wasn't necessarily at, at my optimal and, you know, I've kind of turned that around. And you know what I noticed with it was I remember just kind of getting in the gym, doing incline press and my stabilizing muscles, just like, I'm like, wow, just the smoothness of the reps and how much form I was getting, it was getting better. Um, and then just more fullness uh, over time. And that took, took about a month. So, um, you know, we're, we're super passionate about it, super excited. And we think people are going to get some phenomenal results. And that's why we want to kind of get it out there. We got 50 of those kits you saw, but of course, more and more product available to be selling, to be sold pretty soon. Yeah, I actually gave my, I'm, instead of being greedy and keeping it for myself, I'm, I gave it to my son who's 24 and he's, he's a drug free aspiring bodybuilder. So oh, incredible. More. and we took all the before pictures the day he started taking it. So I'm very curious to see what, what he looks like at the end of it. And, you know, I'll weigh him again and we'll see, cause I, I'm, I'm looking forward to some good results on, and, you know, when you say that there haven't, we haven't demonstrated lean muscle tissue gains yet. The fact that those strength gains have been shown to that extent, typically does translate unless these people were only doing like one rep maxes all the time. If you're training right. in that hypertrophy range and, you know, doing typically like eight to 12 reps or something. Yeah. More becoming stronger. I, I always say this, a stronger muscle in that range is a bigger muscle. So right. if, you're, if you're putting on 50 pounds to your bench press over a couple months, you know, and assuming you're not just doing one rep maxes, your chest is going to be bigger and thicker and fuller. It has to be. If you're right. squatting 80 pounds more than you did, your legs are going to become thicker and fuller and denser. That's just yeah. the, way it, the way it goes. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, it, it, the more tension you're putting on, um, the greater strength over time, as, as you say, that's that's what leads to gains. Yeah. Curious, because most peptides come in in injectable form. They come in like a powder that you have to reconstitute and inject. Yeah. Uh, is this a, say, is this a different delivery mechanism? that? Because I, I don't see other peptides typically coming in a in a pill form. Yeah, and, and you know that's that's also what makes this unique and differentiated. I mean, right now a lot of the peptides out there are you know either not re they're they're basically kind of off label use, not really compliant, approved, and um, you know you can you can take the route where you, where you do inject and, and things. This is you know something that the goal was to create a less invasive scientific back form that you know we can provide to everybody. Um, so yeah, you know, the technology is different, uh, but when we still assess the results and we still saw how it peaked in the blood, um, yeah. although you were, you know, taking the injection path and, and of course you can't, cause that goes, that's the drug route path. Yeah. Uh, the oral delivery was highly bioavailable. And, um, you know, when I was talking to the researchers, it's not like you get a hit on every peptide. So it's not as simple as you could do, you know, uh, try loose, you know, you know, three peptide, sorry, uh, a tripeptide of leucine. Mm -hmm. In fact, that wasn't as impressive as dilucine. So wow. it's wow. very specific opt-in and, and you got to test it. You got to put the time in and you got to assess and see which ones are, you know, more, um, you know, bioavailable essentially. Okay. This is a random question, but I see the serving size is three capsules. It says to take them all at once. Is that just because most people are going to forget to take them throughout the day? I, I have this weird uh, OCD thing where if something says three tabs or three pills, I want to spread them out during the day. Would there be any benefit? To your knowledge of doing that? Uh, I, I would not at this stage. Um, but that is interesting that you mentioned that, <laughs> that, you, that, that you think to, to divide it up. And, and I, I, I could see that. <laughs> uh, part of the reason is, is just right now, two grams is the sweet spot from the dose to okay. basically hit the right spot, you know, the right level within the blood um, to replicate what we've seen in the research. So I, I wouldn't spread it out, um, that two gram dose at least. You know, I, that's, that's the sweet spot. So, you know, it is what I would say is either on training days, you know, take it. Um, the research is post-workout and ideally what you want to do is somewhere sandwiched around your workout to make the most of the signaling. Um, a lot of folks are just, you know, it, it seems like the right time post-workout. We know, you you know, protein synthesis is going to be elevated for 24 to 48 hours. So you're just going to elevate that further, especially if you take it immediately post-exercise. The other time is when you're not training, I'd say first thing in the morning. You know, your, your body is essentially at, at that, you know, I always tell people, I'm like, try to bookend your days ideally with, with protein, right? Like before, you know, when you're going to go to, you know, sleep, you're going to bed first thing in the morning you're coming out in this fasted state, you're going to absorb it. Well, your muscles need it. Turn on that signal right away. So it's kind of the okay. sweet spot. 
Yeah. In in the trials, when were they taking it relative to their workouts? Yeah, it was it was post workout, post workout okay. in, in the research, and then again on the non training days in the morning. So that's okay, that's that would enough. be following it to a T. Fair enough. So, uh, like I said, this is as we're speaking now. By the time this video comes out, maybe it'll be fully available. But you're very close to being able to get it, guys, uh, guys and girls out there on the website. The Muscle Tech website will be offering this very, very soon. Um, I don't think they're all going to get that cool suitcase, unfortunately. But, uh, that's a lot of packaging for uh, for a little bottle. But I'm not complaining. I'm keeping this suitcase forever. <laughs> Man, it is cool. Uh, yeah, that that's it. Uh, I keep call, wanting to call you doctor for some reason, but because <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you're as well versed as most doctors I know. But that's it. Uh, thanks for explaining the product. I'm excited yeah. to see what it can do for my son. Uh, all you guys and girls out there who want to really, really try something that's going to give you a boost in your training and your gaining, uh, especially if you're drug free, this could this could do really good things for you. I encourage you all to give it a try. I'm I'm very very hopeful and uh, anxious to see what it does for my son. And uh, yeah, man, this is this is a great great breakthrough. So keep keep on doing what you're doing, Raza. You're coming out with great products. You and the whole team there, and we appreciate it very much as consumers. Thanks, Ron. I appreciate it. You know, you know, our job's never done, so we're always going to be looking for the for the next big thing. But I, I think this one's really gonna gonna kind of change the game, and, and it's here to stay. So I can't you know I can't wait to hear how people are kind of you know introducing it to their supplement regimen, the type of results. I uh, can't wait to hear how your how your son performs and responds to it. So keep me posted on that front. But uh, yeah, no, thanks again for having me here, and uh, we think we're this is gonna be pretty special for the industry. You're very welcome. And guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe, like the video if you like it, share it on your social media platforms, turn your notifications, do all that good stuff. Lots of good stuff coming up here on the YouTube channel for Muscle Tech, including this show, Muscle Talk. More to come. So thanks for watching this episode with Raza Bashir, and we'll see you next time.